Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Jerry, and this is my dog, Abby. Uh, Six-year-old. We're not sure what she is. She's been a great dog for us. But anyhow, um, sorry about the mess out here. I'm in front of uh, my battle lab, my wood shop, my garage. Um, it's a mess right now, so I'm probably not going to show too much of that. Um, it's only important that my garage is clean come about end of October, early November when my wife starts parking in there. So we'll park our cars in the garage in the wintertime. And I'll move them out and use the garage as the wood shop. But during the summertime, spring and fall, I like to roll everything out. But today's project, um, it's going to be a day or two I'm going to be working on this. Take a break from my other builds. But I need to build some friends of ours. They got a, a hold of me and asked me if I'd build them an outhouse for their remote property. And I said, absolutely. So... Um, right now we got the base started. I just started the base and we got some sassafras deck boards. Oh, there's our cat Chippewa. Hey Chip. Come here Chip. Chip's over 20 years old. Chip's an old cat. Uh, yeah, she's over 20. She gets around well. Her sister died a couple of years ago. Um, smoky, but anyhow, this is sassafras. I'm getting it all cut up, and then I'm going to run it all through the planer. Um, so it'll be a pretty floor. And then I'm going to have to do some milling to get some 2x4s. I only have a few odds and ends for 2x4s. So um, stick around. Let's just see how this goes. Hopefully it's kind of fancy. Maybe not. Maybe we'll keep it rusted. All right, I'll give you my paycheck. Uh, I'll just sit on the front seat of your car. You're staying here with me, Abby. You're staying with me? I'm going to go to work, Abby. All right, love you. Have a good day. Be safe. Yes, you will. Come on.
My other deer blinds, the door was right here. It was four, all the deer blinds I built before are four by four. So usually the door was right about here. This is gonna be a lot better, a lot more room. You're not running into the door when you're standing up or sitting down. You got a place, you'll have a spot to hang your coat or a little bit more room. So that's gonna work out good. I have this is at six foot. I think I'm gonna make this side probably seven and a half feet, maybe not quite seven and a half feet. The guy I'm building it for, him and his wife, he's she's not tall, but he's six three, six four. So I gotta make sure the door accommodates him. So that will be fine. Yeah, that will work. So we'll go seven and maybe just seven foot here. Nah, yeah, maybe seven foot. Just seven foot, make a six foot six door. Yeah, I like that. So I built three other deer blinds, or deer blinds, three other outhouses over the years, and uh, they're all been four by four. So let's get uh, this thing going. I'm out of two by fours, so I got to get to the wood mill and mill some more two by fours up. So those two by fours I need for this outhouse, I'm going to get out of this, I believe. I'm going to trim this stuff up. This has been laying here for a while, and I'll make two by fours out of this. Probably need a six to ten, maybe a dozen, half dozen to a dozen. We'll mill them up, and then if I need more, I'll come back out and mill them again. That's the beauty about having a lumber yard, lumber store, right next to your house. I'll do it. Well, guys, that'll about do it for today. We're about to get some storms, it looks like. Um, I got it framed in. Oop, a little bit of sap on that pine. I got it all framed in, the kind of the shape I want it. I still have to build the pooper box. And then sight it. So I'm going to have to get back to the mill tomorrow or the next day and cut a bunch of rough sawn siding for it. It's going to be vertical. It's going to be probably board and batten. Um, my wife's going to stain this the same color as their little cottage they have. So this is gonna be really cool. You need an outhouse if you don't have one, build yourself one, nothing else nostalgic.
We live out in the country. Can you hear that guy bumping? Jeez. That racket. Man. Rather comfortable. We have plenty of room, lots of leg room, and not standing up hitting your head on the door. So I'd say it's done. Got these little cubby holes. So hopefully the customer's happy. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, it was a fun little build, this outhouse. It's all out of rough sawn pine, real quick. Uh, the floor is made out of sassafras. It's kind of rot resistant, much like cedar and white oak. The boards are all white pine, so it's board and batten, and we got a steel roof on it. Um, the door's got some cherry around it, so I just used what wood I had laying around. But hopefully the customer's happy. Um, I'm gonna make a sign for it. Yeah, I think I know what I'm gonna call it. We're gonna call it the long dropper. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, I answer most comments, subscribe, and share it with a friend. Have a great day.